Hello and welcome to episode 22 of Cold Case Christmas. In this episode, we're going to look at the unsolved murder of John Palmer, who was a 65-year-old grandfather who was burning rubbish, minding his own business, in the garden of his home in Sandpit Lane in South Weald, Brentwood, Essex in the UK. At around 5.30pm, on 24th of June 2015, he was shot six times. A mortally wounded Mr. Palmer managed to walk a short distance towards his house before collapsing. He was discovered by relatives who called for help, but it was too late. A hole found in the garden fence suggests the killer may have been watching, waiting, lying in wait for a good time to shoot dead Mr. Palmer. Who would do such a thing to a 65-year-old grandfather? Well, things aren't always as they seem. John was um, shot and killed in his garden on 24th of June 2015. Uh, we've taken hundreds of statements, spoken to lots of people, uh, lots of vehicle inquiries, and lots of intelligence work that's been going on in the background um, to try and progress the investigation. The circumstances surrounding John's murder is that he was at home and he was potting around the garden at the time of his death. Um, we believe the offender was probably a contract killer, so he was hired by someone else to, to kill John. Uh, we believe he drilled a hole in the fence near to where John was, was burning some paperwork in a secluded part of the grounds of his house. Uh, we also believe that offender jumped the fence and then shot John at close range. <laughs> John did manage to, to partially stumble back towards the house, but collapsed there uh, and was pronounced dead at the scene. A number of individuals have stood trial for real estate fraud in Madrid for offences in Tenerife dating back to the 1990s and 2000. John was due to be one of the defendants um, before he was shot and killed. That trial is really key to this investigation for a number of reasons. Firstly, there was national coverage in the tabloids in, in the months leading up to John's murder, and the week of his murder, he was informed that he was going to be one of those defendants in that trial. Although John has been involved in criminality in his life, no one deserves to die in that manner, regardless of what their background is. And plus, John was a father, and he was a partner, and he was a family man. His family are trying to deal with his, their grief, and I think that's the real reason why people should contact us and people should help us try and identify those people responsible so I can then put them in front of a court and convict them. Yeah, things aren't quite as they seem. This was a contract killing of a gangster. John Palmer's nickname was Goldfinger, and John didn't live in just a regular house. He lived in a mansion. Sources believe that Goldfinger's killer was hired amid fears that he was going to turn supergrass in the run-up to a timeshare fraud prosecution. Goldfinger learned just before his death that he would stand trial in Spain on claims of timeshare fraud, money laundering and firearms offences. Detectives believe it was feared by his underworld associates that he would try to save himself by turning informant and therefore he had to go. It's thought that the notorious Kinahan cartel, which operates in the UK, Spain, the Netherlands and Dubai, helped hire the hitman for the job after being approached by one of these underworld associates. The source said it's common knowledge in underworld circles that the cartel was involved in Goldfinger's murder. Sources say police have now established that Goldfinger's hitman entered the UK in early June 2015, but there's no record of when he left. Since February 2016, the Kinahan Organised Crime Group has been involved in a gang war with another group in Ireland and Spain, resulting in numerous murders, including two innocent bystanders. At the same time, a National Crime Agency statement said the cartel has been linked to more than a dozen gangland murders. It's also been involved in a feud with the island-based Hutch Gang, since the murder of Gary Hutch in Spain in 2015. The warfare has since claimed at least a further 16 lives, according to authorities. 
Goldfinger himself had had a long criminal career and was cleared of handling proceeds of the 26 million Brinkmat bullion raid in Heathrow in 1983. He went on to develop his £30 million timeshare operation in Tenerife in the 1990s and made it to number 105 in the Sunday Times Rich List. After his death, his estranged wife of 40 years, Marnie, wrote a book about her glamorous life with the ill-fated gangster Goldfinger. An Essex police spokeswoman said, As with any unsolved murder, our investigation remains open. We know the key lies within the underworld. Loyalties do change, and so people may now feel able to come forward, and we will follow up on any new line of inquiry. So, are you a member of the underworld whose loyalties have changed? You never know who watches these videos. Goldfinger deserves justice just like anybody else. So if you've got any information, you can call Essex Police on 101 or you can call Crime Stoppers anonymously by calling 0800 555 111. Let me know what you think about this unusual case and I'll see you very soon in the next episode of Cold Case Christmas. Bye guys. Good girl.